I've got my van back. Such an ugly van. <laughs> oh, I destroyed this. So much work needs to be done to it. That's right, I've got my van back and it's absolutely diabolical. It's hideous! It's absolutely hideous! I'm sorry, but this is on you guys here. How could you let this happen? This is on you guys. Welcome to my 2005 54 plate Vauxhall Vivaro high top short wheelbase X kind of barber van. Now every vehicle deserves love and this one well, this one takes the cake. This hasn't had any love whatsoever. I'd like to pretend I put love into this, but I didn't. And we need to talk about it because... <sighs> I'm sorry, this is just... It's, it's dreadful. Ah, uh, I killed it. So let's rewind a bit. Back to February 2022, when I purchased this van, just over two years ago now. I bought this van to turn into a mobile barber van. It was gonna be a barber shop on wheels, and that was a great idea at the time. I started working on it, I started converting it, and then my son was born in March of 2022. I completely lacked on the work that needed to go into this van because I was a new dad, and I didn't put the care that I needed to into a lot of the bits of this. And because of that, the van has been neglected massively. It's two years later, and the van is horrific. But where has it been, you may be wondering. Well, when we decided to move back south in July 2022, the van came with, obviously and the van has been living in West Sussex ever since. It was used as my daily driver for a bit, actually. After I sold my 206, I needed a car for a bit, so I used my van. When we finally got our house in West Sussex, this kind of just became storage. This was just used with loads of belongings and stuff, and then when we moved out of that house, again, this was just used for storage, and this sat in the same space permanently yeah, for about a year and a half. Yeah, okay. For the last 18 months, this van has barely moved. It's got a flat tire and no MOT. It's now sitting in my car park, hoping to have some life put back into it. How did you let me do this? How did you let me get the van to this state? No! Oh my goodness, it's, it's horrendous! It's disgusting! Oh my goodness. I've taken off more than I can chew here. Now, I won't lie, I did try selling this van. It's been listed online on and off a few times over the last year, and I did have some genuine offers on the van. However, after having a six-speed conversion put into this van, and after wanting to make this van a really nice thing, I could never let it go for as little as people wanted to buy it for. Looking at it now, I understand why I was being offered so little. I've been trying to sell it for, at first, four and a half grand, and then I went as low as 1,500. It's not worth it. Not, not one bit. This van isn't worth that. In fact, this van at the moment, in its current state, is probably worth scrap value, which is around £375. Which is really sad to say, but that's just based on the cosmetic work. Engine-wise, it's beautiful. It's had a six-speed conversion. The engine runs smoothly. It runs like butter. It's one of the best vehicles I've ever driven. But people don't care about that. People care about not just how it runs, but what it looks like. And, and at the moment, it's a disaster zone. Now the question on everybody's lips is going to be the same thing. What are you going to do with this van? You've had it for two years, it's diabolical. It's absolutely dreadful. It doesn't look like anything good. Well, to be honest with you, until about two seconds ago, I was thinking I might as well just scrap this. I've just paid 400 pounds to bring it up from West Sussex. But this van deserves to have life back in it. 
and I have a bag of spray paint, to be honest with you. So the van, future plans for this van, which are going to be happening probably starting this weekend, is I'm going to be painting it. I'm going to be sanding it all down and I'm going to be painting it blue. The side panels, all the plastic trim is all going to come off again and that is going to be completely sanded flat because it looks dreadful. I've got a chunk taken out of one of the sections which is going to be filled in. We're going to be washing this van. We're going to be painting the wheels because the wheels are steel wheels and rusted. We're going to be getting some new caps for the wheels. Maybe some full hub caps actually. There's paint all over the lights and the windows and the rubbers and that's all going to be sorted. That's all going to be completely taken care of. The lumps where I originally body filled it are going to be sorted. I'm going to smooth them down and I'm going to put a lot more work into it. Front panel here is actually sloped off as you could see just there. You can see the old white from it coming through there. That actually isn't screwed in on that side so I need to find a screw which is going to fit. Then we're going to be cleaning the tyres, polishing the new paint, completely making the van just look great basically. Inside the van I'd like to potentially paint the dashboard. I painted the dashboard mold fit panda so I know how to do that. Thinking about doing it black just get rid of the uh, elephant skin grey and we're going to be washing the seats, maybe put some seat covers on. Basically we're going to just be tidying up the van completely. It's sound so what we're going to be doing mechanically is getting it through an MOT. Washer fluid needs to be fixed, lock on the back needs to be fixed, it needs a service, it needs some new glow plugs, I know that for certain. Little bits here and there are just going to need to be sorted. So mechanically there's not a lot that needs to be done, it's more cosmetic. Now I'm going to do all of this up on a reasonable budget, by that I mean as cheap as possible. I'm uh, going to paint the steel wheels white and then caps on them or hubcaps or something. Underneath the van we're going to be anti-rusting it as well. I'll probably put some wax oil on that. The spray paint I've got for the van is anti-rust as it is, so the van's going to look hopefully tip-top shape. I bought this van for £950. I've put over a thousand pounds into the engine already to have a new gearbox. I don't want to think about the costs I've spent on paint in the past and stuff as well as the awful ply lining and installation I've done in the back plus the 100 watt solar panel we have on the roof. I'm going to get this van completely spick span perfect. It's not going to look like a 2005 54 plate van anymore. We're going to have it absolutely lovely and we're going to sell it and hopefully that should bring in some capital and the capital from the sale of the van will go towards buying and selling more vehicles, starting businesses, earning money, the series on this channel that I spoke about. We are starting from zero completely but it's worth it because we're going to get another van back on the road, we're going to get it MOT'd, we're going to get it cleaned, it's going to be lovely and yeah, yeah that's the plan, just work on it basically make it amazing, give it some new number plates, all that jazz. It does need a lot of work though, I won't lie. Just cosmetically, it needs a lot of work. But that's fine, because we're gonna do it. Well that's pretty much it for the video, isn't it? I don't know why you're still here, unless you're gonna tell me your favourite pizza topping in the comments below, because I'd really like to know. Mine's pineapple. What's yours? I'd love to know. Anyways, this van is diabolical. I'm aware of the issues I've made with it. I can't believe you guys here on YouTube let me get this far with it and so bad. But it's cool, it's fine, I take 100% responsibility for it. And I'm a different person to what I was two years ago. And now this van just needs some love and care and attention and focus and that's what we're going to be doing. So yeah. Adios my mis amigos. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, Comment down below anything you think I should do to the van, any ideas that you have for the van, uh, should I sell the van, and uh, anything else really. I'd love to know. I love your questions that I get. I'm going to uh, go back inside and have some breakfast now because it is early morning on a Friday. Yeah. Bye-bye. The end. Like this video!